What is happening, collectors? The box is empty, yes. I, I realize that I love these build and battle kits, but man, they're so easy to open. And I actually have a little quick montage. I'm gonna show you all the best pulls um, out of this build and battle kit. Now you have seen some of the openings already, but I wanna show you kind of the rest of them. Now, and you know what? I'm gonna show you. You're gonna to wanna to wait till the very end because I have a couple highlights that I wanna that I wanna tell you. So make sure you watch this whole video. And by the way, if you haven't seen me before, hi, my name's Mark. Please consider subscribing to this channel, leaving a like on it. You're gonna enjoy it. So today we are really going through the hits only. So, and actually you're gonna notice a few interesting things like, yep, a live part. Great, great, I have it, but you're gonna see some common themes as we go through this video today. So uh, I really did enjoy opening this. It was so easy to just open up these packs um, quickly because it was just, you know, why, why not? And we started off strong, um, Umbreon v, v. This is second best from the trainer gallery, which is fantastic. And then a Hollow Lucario, which hey, you can't be, can't be too upset with, with that hit. But yeah, opening up these build and battle boxes was just way too easy. And that's why I ripped through them. V, baby. Yes, yes, yes. This, it's not the alternate art, but I will happily take that card. It is worth a pretty penny still. And yeah, Moltres. That, I was happy about that one. Again, a lot of these cards are not worth a, a ton right now um, in terms of the pre-release promos, but yep. V-Star card, and we're just ripping through these nice and quick. Cynthia's Ambition, I like that card. And Drampa V. Classic $1 ultra rare card a lot of these v cards apart from uh, arceus v um, they're worth about a buck i mean that's just the way it is and obviously when you get the charizards they're worth a little bit more just for the collectability magma basin and oh baby roseanne's backup not worth a ton but it is a full art trainer and i am happy anytime i pull a full art trainer live part again of course you're gonna see a few more of those ones and you're gonna to wanna to watch till the end because I'm actually talking about that and it's gonna be worth your time to wait. So we're moving along here, Purloin, and oh yes, Galarian Articuno V, a gold, gold, gold. I am happy anytime I pull a gold Pokemon. Now I did prefer the Moltres, but maybe I can maybe I can pull that one later. We are moving on Vaporeon. Yep, I love how they've got a lot of the evolutions for the trainer gallery. They are beautiful, beautiful cards. Not worth a ton, another live card. <laughs> but those Drainer Gallery uh, Vaporeons and the uh, EV Lucians and Flareons, not worth a lot. Uh, it's more of the VMAXs that seem to be really difficult to pull. Nose Pass, oh, okay, we got a Houndoom, another little $2 Trainer Gallery card, beautiful. I, I love this, and this is why I always love Cosmic Eclipse, because um, those character cards are just fantastic. Um, it really tells a story. Spear Tomb Reverse, and we're moving into a Dracovish V, another $1 card, and what do we got? Oh, now we're moving on to Lucario, <laughs> at least worth a little bit more than the live card, but boy, was it, uh, yeah, fascinating how, yeah, how my 10 boxes opened up out of this one. Octillery, all right, did we, uh, did we, uh, we saw that one already. And we are moving along here to the next pack. I really, this set is so fun to open just because again, you can get double bangers, which is really, really cool. We've got a Sigalyph reverse and, oh, we got a little something. Okay, a Shaman V-Star. Not worth a lot, not not as much as the Arceus uh, V-Star or the Charizard V-Star, mind you, but uh, still, still a nice card to get. I do find the V-Stars have been particularly difficult to pull. Um, but yeah, this, yeah, as I was saying, this set is a lot of fun. So there was actually some pretty good pulls out of that box, uh, that case, I should say. And here's the final one. I opened this one, not on camera. I, I don't know why I didn't, but look where I pulled. Yeah! Yes, I pulled the Charizard V-Star, not the most valuable Charizard, but still worth, I don't know, 30 or 40 bucks. That's, that's still pretty good. And actually something that's really interesting that, that I wanted to note, is that out of each build and battle box, you get a pre-release. 
and I got a lot of Lucario and Lipards. Not just like a little bit, like a lot. Out of the 10, I received five Lucarios and four Lipards and one Moltres. So I was not able to complete the set. Plus before that, I actually got two separate build and battle boxes and it was also Lucario and Lipard. So I've opened up 12 boxes and I have not got all four. I'm still missing the Bibberol. So now what you're gonna ask is, what am I gonna do with all of these Lucarios and Lipards? Well, I wanna give them away. So if you watched this, through this whole video, thank you, I appreciate it. Leave a like on this video, but I would love it to, I would love to share. I'd love to send some of these pre-release kits out. So if you can leave a comment down below, either mention the word Lucario or Lipard, whichever one you prefer, and I will ship worldwide. Nothing else, you don't have to do anything else. I would really like it if you subscribe to my channel and of course leave a like, but all you gotta do is comment one of those things and within a week, I'm gonna post a video um, and I'm gonna let you know who wins and I'm gonna give away a bunch of these. So again, all over the world, doesn't matter. I appreciate every single one of you guys. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Bye.